Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the card game Legends of Hellas. In this game you'll be working together to defeat monsters from Greek mythology. So you either all win the game or you all lose the game. Here's how it goes. You are going to accept one of the 12 missions. If you have completed the mission then you have won the game. But if during the game anyone runs out of cards and must take new cards from the deck that has run out, then you have lost the game. So how do you play the game? What do you do when it's your turn? When it's your turn you must do one action. And you have a few options to choose from. But whatever you do it will always result in at least one card getting discarded. When you're done, the player to your left goes next. When it's your turn, you can choose to move your own player disc from one monster card to another monster card. And for that, you have to put one card from your hand on the discard pile. When it's your turn, you can also choose to fight a monster. For that, you need to have your own disc on the monster card and then you can place one of your cards next to the monster. And it has to be a card that shows the same icon as it shows on the monster card. Each monster has two icons. If you have a card with one of those icons you can place it next to the monster. As soon as there are five cards next to a monster then it is defeated. But you need to have at least one card of each icon. You can't just place five cards of only this icon. You will have some advantages for fighting a monster. The first thing is that once per mission you can flip over your own disc over to this broken side and then you can play any card from your hand face down next to a monster. And then you can pretend you played an icon that is needed to defeat it. Another thing is these cards with the lightning icon on it. You can use these as wild cards, they count as every icon. Or when there is at least one of each icon the monster card shows, then you can place this lightning card sideways at the bottom and then the monster is also defeated. The gods from above have intervened and helped you slay this beast because if there's one thing Greek gods did it's meddle in human affairs. Anyway, that's another action you can do when it's your turn. Fight! If you ever run out of cards, or at least cards you can use, then you can always take new cards from the deck. You keep taking cards until you have five in your hand. You end your turn by placing one card on the discard pile. This is also an action. If you're curious about what the deck has to offer, then as an action you can always take the top six cards. Look at them, pick one to place on the discard pile and then put these five back on the deck and you can decide in which order to put them on top. And the last action you can choose from when it's your turn is give any number of cards from your hand to another player. After that, that person has to put one card on the discard pile and if that player has more than four cards they have to keep discarding until they have four cards in hand. Those were all the actions you can choose from when it's your turn. Move, fight, take new cards, peek at the cards from the deck or give cards to another player. A few details and then we're already done. As I've said you choose a mission. 
All the missions are listed in the rules, along with the instructions for how that mission goes. At some point, the mission will tell you that a chimera steps into battle. In that case, you take two cards from the monster deck and put them together to make one big monster. Then you have four icons, and this monster is defeated when you have placed eight cards next to it. Same rules as defeating a regular monster. And the last thing, this is a cooperative game. And you can talk to each other, but you can't say anything that might give away the cards that you have. You can't show your cards, and you can't say things like, I've got what it takes to defeat this monster. You can only say things about helping with the rule reminders. But that's already it. This is how you play Legends of Hellas, an ancient Greek adventure that fits in your pocket. I hope you feel like you understand how it goes and that you'll have fun playing this. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment and see you for the next one.